50 years ago today, April 12, 1961, a Russian cosmonaut named Yuri Gagarin became the first human being to reach outer space. Piloting his Vostok 1 spacecraft, he completed a single orbit of the planet Earth and returned safely. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. The space race, the most iconic moment of the Cold War era rivalry between two of the 20th century's quintessential superpowers, the United States of America and the Soviet Union. Though this competition was born out of geopolitical ambitions, tracing its origins to the post-World War II nuclear arms race, it was a historic chapter in humanity's story, leading to what is arguably the greatest period of scientific advancement since the Italian Renaissance nearly six centuries earlier. Officially kick-started with the launch of the Sputnik 1, the world's first artificial satellite, by the Soviets in 1957, the rivalry between the two Cold War rivals for space superiority yielded several milestones, the most monumental of which are the USSR's star cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin becoming the first human to go to space in 1961, and American astronaut Neil Armstrong becoming the first man to walk on the moon in 1969. Having led to numerous technological innovations in the fields of aeronautics, computing and communications, the space race eventually slowed down in the 1970s and 1980s due to the realization of economic infeasibility of the rivalry, shifting to a cooperative approach between the former rivals on less ambitious space exploration missions. Now, nearly half a century later, we are witnessing a resurgence of the space race, rekindled by humanity's increasing desire to explore the moon and other planets in our solar system in search of precious resources and bolstered by the confirmation of water on the sunlit area of the lunar surface based on data from NASA's 2020 SOFIA mission. While this new 21st century space race does include the old guard, the lack of the looming threat of an imminent nuclear war and rapidly growing global economic prosperity means there are a lot more players involved this time, including but not limited to India, the world's largest democracy, Asian juggernaut China, and ambitious newcomer United Arab Emirates. Each of these nations have their own unique yet equally ambitious goals and agendas driving their space exploration missions. Let's start off with India's latest exploration mission to the moon with the Chandrayaan-3, which consists of a lunar lander named Vikram and a rover named Pragyan, but no orbiter. Launched on the 14th of July 2023 with tracking support provided by the European Space Agency, the mission aims to demonstrate the spacecraft's soft landing capabilities on the Moon and conduct on-site experiments on the lunar surface regarding its history, geology and potential for resources including water. Chandrayaan-3 entered into lunar orbit on the 5th of August 2023 and is expected to land near the unexplored lunar South Pole region on the 23rd of August 2023. The project has an estimated budget of around $90 million which is significantly less than that of other spacefaring nations, a strong testament to the efficiency of India's frugal space engineering. The mission's success will be a major milestone for India, which has grown its space program considerably since its first lunar probe in 2008, proving the capabilities of the world's largest democracy as an emerging pioneer in space exploration, as it sets out to join an exclusive list of countries that have achieved a controlled landing on the lunar surface. And the Moon is not the only interplanetary body that India is targeting. In 2014, India launched its Mars orbiter mission christened Mangalyaan, sending a space probe to orbit the Red Planet, making it the fourth nation to reach Mars and the first to do so on its first attempt. Following the current lunar mission, India has three upcoming ambitious space projects. A Sun exploration mission set to launch sometime this month, its first human spaceflight mission in 2025, and its second Mars Orbiter mission by 2031. It is clear that India has huge space exploration ambitions and is set to play a major role in the 21st century space race, guided by its national pride and its technological prowess. Next up, we have one half of the old guard, space veteran Russia. 
You see, India is not the only nation that is heading to the lunar surface this month. After a 47-year hiatus, the Russian space agency, Roscosmos, just launched its Lunar 25 mission on the 10th of August 2023, its first lunar project since 1976. The Lunar 25 is expected to touch down on the Lunar South Pole on August 23rd, around the same time as India's Chandrayaan-3. And it is quite literally a race against time to see which country lands on the unexplored zone first. The lunar mission will last for one year, with the key purpose of studying the composition of the moon's surface and subsurface, including the polar soil and the plasma and dust contained in the lunar exosphere and atmosphere, all in an effort to find water ice on Earth's natural satellite. Russia's return to the realm of space travel serves not only as proof of its commitment to space exploration, but also as a strategic move to assert its global status as a superpower amid its conflict with Ukraine. After Russia, we have the world's second largest economy. China, which has experienced explosive growth of its space program over the past decade, with five successful moon missions so far under its lunar exploration program, including Chang'e 4, which became the first spacecraft to touch down on the far side of the moon in 2019, and Chang'e 5, which launched in November 2020 and returned two kilograms of lunar soil to Earth. The country is now moving forward with bigger ambitions, including building an autonomous lunar research station near the moon's south pole and conducting a crewed lunar landing mission in the 2030S. Apart from this, China also launched its permanently crewed Tiangong space station in 2021 and in the end of May 2023 launched its second crew rotation to the space station in the Shenzhou 16 spacecraft, which included Gui Haichao, a professor at Beihang University, and the first Chinese civilian to go to space, with three upcoming space station missions planned in 2023, as well as crewed missions to Mars by 2033 after a successful space probe launch in 2021, China is undoubtedly setting its sights high as it aims to become a global leader in space exploration, as part of its broader technological and economic battle with the United States. Competing directly with China in the race for space supremacy is the second half of the old guard, the United States of America. The US has been at the forefront of space exploration since the founding of its space agency NASA in 1958. And while there is concern regarding the rapid rise of China as a serious competitor, America's pioneering space agency has not stopped delving deeper into the final frontier. In fact, it was NASA's 2020 SOFIA mission which first confirmed the presence of water on the lunar surface in the first place, which became the basis of India and Russia's current lunar missions. Furthermore, NASA has at least five lunar missions planned for 2023 alone, alongside other ambitious projects in the coming years, including asteroid landings and probe missions for Mars, Jupiter, Titan and Venus. One of the most eagerly awaited of these upcoming missions is the Artemis III, which will be NASA's first human mission to the lunar South Pole. Scheduled for launch sometime in late 2025, the mission aims to learn how to live in a deep space environment for long periods of time in preparation for future human missions to Mars. Both China and NASA's space exploration goals are equally ambitious, and it will be interesting to see who comes out on top in this thrilling race to the farthest reaches of space. Moving on from these modern-day global economic superpowers, we have a new entrant into the space race, a small yet incredibly ambitious country in the Middle East, named the United Arab Emirates, which launched its space agency in 2014 and has already made history by successfully sending its first ever spacecraft, Hope, to Mars in 2020, becoming the fifth country in the world to reach the Red Planet and the first in the Arab world. Working with Japanese private space company Ispace, the Arab nation has impressive space exploration ambitions, which includes plans to launch further missions to the moon as well as Mars, following an unsuccessful first attempt due to the crash of the Rashid rover in April 2023. The UAE's Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center also worked alongside Russian space agency Roscosmos, as well as NASA, to send the first Emirati astronaut, Sultan Al-Nayadi, 
on a six-month mission to the International Space Station in March 2023, making him the first Arab to perform a spacewalk in April 2023. As this visionary nation continues to evolve and improve its space program, the UAE's goal with its space program is to diversify its economy and society, as well as to inspire its people and the Arab region as a whole. Of course, when talking about breakthroughs in space exploration, one cannot forget the pioneering American private space company, SpaceX. This space exploration company by tech titan Elon Musk is in the business of spacecraft manufacturing, providing launch services and satellite communications. The company has an official partnership with NASA to launch astronauts and cargo to the International Space Station and has flown 30 people to orbit since 2020, which includes both government and private missions. SpaceX also partners with Russian space agency Roscosmos in an astronaut exchange program, allowing Russian cosmonauts to travel on American rockets and vice versa. SpaceX has completed 60 launches to date in 2023 alone, with a target of 100 total launches by year-end, operating with a fail-fast approach that is common in startup tech companies. From its innovations in reusable rockets and human interplanetary flights, targets of launching human spacecraft to Mars by 2026, goals of colonizing Mars by 2040, and providing essential support to various government space agencies, it would not be a stretch to say that SpaceX is the most important entity in the space race of the 21st century. To be clear, there are other countries, such as Japan, Europe, Canada and Australia, as well as private companies, such as Blue Origin and Virgin Galactic, that are also part of this new space race. My goal here was to highlight which nations and companies are at the forefront of bringing humanity one step closer to being an interplanetary species. With the potential for numerous scientific discoveries, technological innovations and economic growth, the 21st century space race presents the exciting prospect of the next renaissance for humanity. However, questions regarding ownership and governance of space and international guidelines regulating space exploration abound, which means international cooperation between all spacefaring nations will be essential to successfully elevating our space exploration ambitions to infinity and beyond. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share and subscribe to the channel for more on the latest breakthroughs in astronomy and cosmology. Also, let me know your thoughts and opinions on the return of the space race in the comments section below. And with that, I leave you for today. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay curious and keep exploring.